Yo, hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's Controversial Shannon. Hey, I'm I'm not gonna be here too long. I just wanna really say this, man, like, cause it need to be said. Bro, we living in a generation full of soft men, bro. And we living in a generation full of lames, me, lame men that became successful via podcast. See, we living in a time where it's the revenge of the lame. Where lame men, and I mean losers, lame men have really taken their revenge out on women because they were the type to never get no play. They the type of men that don't have any type of sex appeal whatsoever. They the type of men that just wasn't cool in middle school, high school, was rejected, neglected, and you see it coming out of them. You see it coming out of them because they when they talk about how much money that that's how you know a person's insecure and they really wasn't like that because they talk about money the first thing they go to is oh i'm bigger than you man and i i got all this money and I, I, yeah yeah but see men who really get women to understand women broke men were getting women men who really be around women and understand women you can get women without having all these materialistic things so you didn't start getting women until you started getting a little bit of paper, right? That is why you are a lame because money made you. And they and these women know that you are a walking lick. <laughs> That's why they come to you. They don't like having intercourse with you. You don't turn them on. They don't they probably don't even get you probably don't even make them splash in bed probably not even hitting all the right spots and that's why all you can do is talk about your money and then they join they find these collective group of men in this in this bussy popping sphere which they call the manosphere that lacks men right talking about they want to bring truth they start stating statistics but then don't break down the statistics you know you know what's funny every time the dude the the men especially the black men bring up the statistics to to make black women look bad right they never uh you know they never quantify i'm sorry they never give an ex explanation on why that is they don't explain why because they don't know the reasons why they purposely find numbers to make black women look bad out here they purposely find videos of the most heinous black woman that they could find to then paint uh, black women in a negative light based on a few black women in the way that they're acting. And that is why I don't, you will never hear me be a red pillar because those guys are losers. And then there's two main guys, and I'm not even going to say their names, but one of them looked like a light skinned Santa Claus always smoking a goddamn Cuban cigar. All he, every, every short, every goddamn, uh, every video. It's just him talking about women. And then you got another dude who ball they both they always ball headed. That that's one thing. They're always ball headed. So you got a ball headed man who <laughs> has a little following. And he said the most he, he said an egregious statement. I, I I refuse to repeat it. But he really believes that that black women or the reason why the black community has failed. I thought the men were the leaders, though. So if you're a leader, everything come back on you. But again, I, that don't that don't absolve black women from what they play in, or some black women from how they played a part in in the detriment of the black community. But still, don't don't just try to paint the woman as wrong. They won't call out a man to check their life. So it is the revenge of the lanes because you've seen how that boy on Fresh and Fit got a whole show talking about when I was playing Xbox and I was doing all this and now you girls didn't give me a chance. Now it's your turn to suffer. You know, now it's your turn. So nigga, like you gonna take, you taking your revenge out on women based on the women that you were around because you wasn't getting chose. And again, you, you, you're reverting back to finances. So now that you think that you're somebody, right? Now that you think that you're somebody, you're going to use your little status and your little fame to take revenge out. Revenge of the lames. 
Revenge of the Lambs. These men are weak. These men are trough. If these, I said trough. I'm sorry. These men are soft. <laughs> and if they identify with red pill, don't even give them a chance. Women, save yourself. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, save yourself from, from the bussy popping Negroes. Because if a person has a page where he never speaks good about women, he don't like women. He likes something else. I would assume. And don't even get me started on the married red pill man. Lord have mercy. That's a whole different topic. But again, yeah, we live in a generation of, of the, of you know, the revenge of the lames. Revenge of the lame man. That's what we live in. Hey, man, if y'all like the video, y'all like my content, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe and be blessed in Jesus' name.